It's time for weather. We turn to our Hannah Kim. Hello there, Hannah. Hello, Daniel, and good evening, guys. As of 3 p.m. today, uh, we had Seoul had its first ozone warning of the year. Now, the government is advising children, elders, and people who have respiratory diseases to stay indoors. Right, Hannah, and we also advise you to take public transport uh, rather than your individual vehicles in this time of uh, ozone layer, I guess, um, warning. That's right, Kanyang. And although it feels like the summer, I do want to remind you that it is only the end of May. And I think it's even worse because all our temperature highs are hitting close to or above the 30s. And that's very, very hot for the end of May. Today, we even saw the highest temperature so far of 2013. And if you're outside and you're just standing still, you can easily break into a sweat. Fortunately, it is dry heat, so it's not as sticky or humid. If we take a closer look at tomorrow's forecast, we expect clear and sunny skies nationwide. Wide, but our UV index numbers will be very hot in the afternoon, so please, please apply sunscreen every few hours. Seoul will start off the morning at 15 and reach 28 in the daytime. Meanwhile, cities in the south like Daegu and Gwangju should peak to 33 and 31 degrees respectively. Down on Jeju Island, we expect clear blue skies and a lot of sunshine with temperatures from 15 to 25. Daejeon will also surpass the 30s while Mount Kumgang tops out at 26. Well, that's all I have for you today. I'm Hannah Kim. Back to you guys.